Hello, McWarriors. How's it going? And welcome to another episode of Rogue Take, where we are playing some assassination missions today, guys. It's going to be interesting. We're going to go for high profile targets. And we also want to build a mech before we get into it, because I was looking at storage and I realized that we have a pirate hunchback at the ready. And I think we have enough tech points to actually try this. Maybe we can get some good items out of it. I mean, good in terms of pirate items. They are funky. They are fun. So let's check it out. So we have the silverware gauss rifle, right? Right? We're gonna just shoot scrap at our enemies. But let's see if that thing is even in a good condition. It is completely broken. We have an ear medium pirate laser, which is an okay one. I'm not against it. By the way, best best sell value. 123,456. Pirate engine sadly broken. The core is a bit of value and then we got ferro fibers that we could utilize later you know it's fine i'm gonna scrap this thing anyway because i don't want a hunchback right now or do i i think i do not nah we don't need that thing we're gonna scrap it we are looking for heavy mx now so that being said um we're gonna do two little rebuilds not really rebuilds but optimizations that i actually want to get today and then we are diving in so let's wait for our mechs to be repaired Room optimizations are done as soon. Oh, stop it here! Come on! I clicked the stop button, damn it. Sometimes the game lags and then it just continues after an event. So we wasted a little bit of time, like in-game time now. So the thing I want to do is the following. We have a bushwalker ready, and that bushwalker, it has one open specialist slot. And that specialist slot is definitely going to be the advanced optics that I got the last time. I really want this guy to have better accuracy. I think it is our most impactful mech right now. And the optics give us uh, an advanced zoom, thermal vision, night vision, everything that you basically want. So that's great. We also have a jump jet booster. I cannot see it because I'm over here. Um, that thing wants to go somewhere else as well. Okay, click that real quick. We also go back to the rifleman because we stripped it a little bit. And I wanted to give it back some... Fire control system. Fire control system. Clan gives us plus one gunnery. It's a little bit. And we got a comm suite. Comm suite gives us a bit of tactics and a little bit of resolve gain. So that is nice and doesn't cost us anything. Um, Yeah, the jump booster is obviously going into our most jumpy mech right now. Not the lamb. That thing is jumpy enough already. Ah, we had to disable stealth. Ooh, do I want to do that? Do I want to give that up for more jumpy? I think yes, honestly. I do believe that is a good idea. It hurts me a little bit taking it out, but I do want to get closer faster with this. So, we're gonna put the jump booster in here. And didn't we get mag pulse? Wait a second. Or was that my other playthrough, my Twitch playthrough? By the way, if you haven't already, you can follow me on Twitch. We have a separate playthrough there, where we are also checking out um, Rogue Tech. Yeah, I think I had it on my, on my Twitch playthrough. The question is, what are we doing with the last half ton that we have now freed up because we dropped the jump jet? Mm, difficult. Can Do we have a half ton of ammo? No, we don't. Do we have... Mm, armor is fixed already. Man, that's interesting. With the last half ton, we could go under tonnage. I mean, there's no big need for anything right now. Uh, cockpit upgrades. No. We already have endo. We have talons. How heavy are these? Too heavy. Oh wait, didn't we? Didn't didn't didn't, didn't we have these uh, lower melee punch dudes? They, these are half a ton. You know what? I'll put them in here and I even drop a half ton. It's gonna be awesome. So we finally have a mech that can get close and can punch enemies. Okay. And yeah, punching specifically. Because these have very good accuracy bonuses. Now, we need like three days to get on the battlefield. But luckily enough, we have enough. We also have the Argo upgrade ready. Mech bay number three is a million. It takes all the money away. Let's go Barra Broke again. Let's do it. We can get money back. No problem. So, done. It's time to hit the battlefield, guys. Let's do it. We have a bunch of assassinations here. And I think I want to go for the Operation Selfish Kilt. And we have a two skull mission. That seems good, man. And five out of 23 salvage. That's the biggest one. Confirmation from several sources that a high-ranking Lurin Commonwealth officer is moving in the open. Rare opportunity. So this is one of the... 
Missions where they have a low ton mech, but high value escorts around them. All right, I cannot wait, guys. Let's go. I know that we are still under tonnage on the Phoenix, but it doesn't matter. It's just a fraction of a ton because, you know, we couldn't really slam any more items on the mech. And we couldn't upgrade the armor anymore. I think we are missing 0.18 or so. Um, but that's okay. Again, it's basically full tonnage. Roughly. So where am I going with this today? I really want to play more of these assassination missions because we might be able to find some more bigger mechs. Last time we actually found a bunch of parts for an archer. We got four parts already and we are currently in a scenario where we need five parts to build a mech. So one more part of an archer and we have the five. We can build a 70 ton heavy mech and it is a missile based mech which is beautiful for the like early to mid game because you want to spam the enemies to death. The further you go into your campaign, the more probably you want to go for like range advantage for pinpoint damage to take enemies' components off quickly or maybe even kill with one blow uh, before the enemies can even get a shot out because the enemies scale as well in firepower and the numbers and that's a big problem in the late game so you better get them off the board as quickly as you can but right now it's more about reliability we want to have like an basically an even distribution of damage output per round I don't really like these swingy hit or miss PPC at 30% shots do we do something or do we not and then there might be like multiple turns in a row where you just don't do anything and the enemies overwhelm you because they have just a better amount of luck. And that's a thing I don't want. Yeah, we got some friends. That's good. We got reinforcements. We got supporting forces. We have a target here. This is where our friends drop. Could we backstab? Hmm. I think it is a good idea. Our friends are here. They have forces here if they get into a fight. And we're gonna start a new flank here. In total cover. Skip the first round more or less. Or we could help out. And then overrun these before anything else happens. Do we want to be helpful? I think I'll start here anyway. And then we're gonna see if we go left or right. The important thing is that we are not getting in between them really. So let's see what we can do. All right, so quick overview of the battlefield. We see... Oh no, oh no. I think I saw something. Oh yes, <laughs> so We have a Wolverine, but more importantly, there is an Archer. There is a freaking Helapolis. By the way, Helapolis, one of my usual early game heavy mechs. Usually get one of those. Uh, there's also a Thunderbolt. I am actually a fan of Thunderbolts. And then we have a heavy tracked APC. So is this our... This guy? Okay, fine. But... That's a bunch of heavies and one medium, and there's more stuff up here, so I don't know what's coming. That's kind of scary, actually. Alright, so, um, nothing to do really with our bushwhacker, so we're gonna move and brace, and we're gonna stay in low ground. I don't want to get hit by this. Oh, by the way, our friends are a Quicksell Panther. Okay. And what else? So the Quicksell Panther runs a one-shot Thumper and two Howitzer 2000. What? And then Keras. Laser Pistol, RE Medium, Light PPC Capacitor, ATM 9 Pirate, AMS Mark... Okay, AMS Mark 2 is really good here for uh, minimizing the damage from the Archer. Okay, okay, okay. Uziel. Get going, buddy. I love the mobility of this guy now. Let's go here. We can jump and brace. We have a lot of evasion and broke line of sight again. I'm a bit sad that we only have two friends. I really want more. For more damage absorption. Oh, by the way. Urban Mech R59. Ballistic and Energy. Clint Denton. I don't like when they have a name. Alright. Uh, flyer. Go here. Go Brace. Don't know if we have broken line of sight completely, but hey, let's see. Then we got a Rifleman. That's a move and brace situation as well. We should also probably most likely split a bit because there is artillery on the battlefield, so spread out. So, Chameleon coming in as well? Ooh. This is an actual challenge. I was not prepared for that. Archer. And I think I need the Helapolis out of the field as quickly as possible because that sniper artillery will deal damage over time, no matter what. Even if they don't hit, they do damage. Thunderbolt. 
Okay, yeah. Thunderbolts have one big problem, and that is ammo in the center torso. So if you can go in his back and shoot him, there might be an ammo explosion and the whole mech is destroyed. So I'm gonna initiate here, huh? Crap. I don't want to. Not like this. Also, DNI and ECM first round is a good idea. Um, I'm gonna reserve here. There's no good target yet. We can only shoot indirectly with a bunch of missiles. And we have the Narc attached to the wing of the flyer. Uh, let me go back. Like here again? I think that was my spot. The Narc attached to the flyer means that our missiles have a greater accuracy if that thing connects. So, that's a good idea. Don't want to go in yet. Let my friends attract some fire. Holy macaroni! What? Okay. Alright. That's a good shot. That probably does mean that we want to go in now, if possible. Not with the OZL because it doesn't have a target, but if somebody else can follow up on that, it would be absolutely fantastic. Like you, my friend. Yes. Uh, we don't have any, sadly. <laughs> so Archer is gonna do Archer things. Yeah, sure. Again, I want my lamb first. Let's do it. Ugh. We're getting set under pressure on the right side quite a lot. I am not a fan of that. Okay. Wolverine. Nothing. So I wonder if the Thunderbolt is gonna attack my flyer and how much damage he's gonna do as a result. Maybe I should wait again. God, I hate the hesitation here, but I think it's the smarter choice. Bloodbuster. Getting attacked by missiles from the outskirts. Who was that? Here's Helepolis. Oh no. Luckily, I think the shot got caught on the rock or something. Kinda sounded like it. I am going to wait until turn 7. Let the Thunderbolt do the Thunderbolting. Okay. Chameleon coming in. This thing is gnarly. Oh boy. So I got two Erbies. This is the missile one. Got it. Turn 7. Yeah, this is, we gotta wait. I'm sorry. Let the Thunderbolt do the Thunderbolt thing. Yeah. Good. Now we can do it. Okay, we have to go all the way down to turn one, sadly, because I ordering matters here, guys. Ordering really matters. We're gonna take Kaspar. Um, and go in like that. <gasps> Hello. So I'm not gonna drop the bomb on them, because the bomb is really helpful for later, when we go in the back of the Thunderbolt. I guess we got him. Got a Narc attached, but that doesn't matter anymore. Well... I guess ordering doesn't matter anymore. Um, yeah, I'll I'll move this. Stay in the forest. For the damage reduction. And I think we're gonna just shoot what we can potentially hit. Looking at my hit chance down here. 70% on anything. We wanna attack the Thunderbolt from behind, so... Let's shoot the Bulti from the front. Hell yeah, four damage. Move and brace. We'll take it slow on these guys. But Hero wants to get in there. I could technically attack if I move down here. Uh, no. I'll jump around like this. This might be not necessary. Maybe our lamb can take these guys single-handedly by just going in their backs. But, uh, I guess it's good to have. A little, little bit of extra support in case I need it. Okay, double miss on the Clint. There's another guy up here. Who's that? Wait a sec. That APC is just uh, support, right? I mean, it has to be. Crazy thing. Yeah, the Wolfhound 2X is our main target. Got it. Wealth evasion, buddy. It's good. It's not as like, good as it used to be. 12 evasion back then was god tier. With the recent patch, 12 evasion equals to 6 evasion earlier. But it's still good, though. I honestly like the evasion rework, and he injured himself. Oh my god. He used the capacitor, and it blew up. Does it mean he's gonna go home now? That means... Oh, it might mean that we have to catch this guy now before he's gonna evac. Um... 
Like, that's a problem. Okay, one shot Thumper is destroyed, Howitzer is crit, so he still has things. Okay, okay, okay. That's our next big target. Oh, I kind of want to wait for these guys to come a little closer. We're going to reserve this again. Gonna wait for them to waste their turns. Okay. Ah, this is a mortar. Yeah, that's not a missile launcher. That's a mortar. Gotta reserve again. I think after turn 8, we're gonna start doing things. Okay, Clint does nothing. Yeah, I mean, we tricked them off. We tricked them into doing basically nothing. Um, yeah, cool. That means we can go in now. And that's weird. Look at that. Blue line, if I confirm. Red line. What? Why? I mean, I'll take the red line, but that's weird. Wanna hit the Wolvie? With those LRMs? Structure exposed already. Okay. Fine. Love it. Another crit on the howitzer, but it's still intact. It can still shoot. Okay. Yes, we want to get away from the right side for as long as possible. So we're going to try to go down here and hit the Wolvie again. Hit him on the leg. Beautiful. How long would you stand still? Or stand on your feet even with that amount of leg damage? Uh, yes. So, hmm. Awkward. The question is, do I want to go for Helepolis now? We have a very good chance to hit him in the back. Or do we want to go for Thunderbolt? I'll take the Helepolis. I think it's the most dangerous target on the battlefield right now. And I think I'll even give it the bomb. Target acquired. Narc attached. Unsettled. It's one of those situations where I really don't want to shoot him from the front anymore. Because we have so much back damage already. Oh yes, oh yes. So we want to sprint to get further. And then we want to unleash hell on this Wolverine's leg. Foot destroyed. And I think we have the upper leg and the foot now. Uh, he's also unsteady, perfect. Good, good, good. Yeah. Follow up again. Pretty good hit chance. 70%. And that's the leg down. Oh, I love it. These consecutive hits for the same component. Man, they mattered so much. I cannot click this, by the way. That means he's incapacitated? No, never mind. It was just a bug. Spectre? Wait a second. Who's that Spectre guy? Wait, where are these guys coming from? There's so many of them. That was the escort of the Wolfhound, right? Still. Because they have neither have like a, a dash cross, nor do they have like a solid cross over their heads. They are just random units on the battlefield. Interesting. Urban Merc. I get Mortard. Sure. Okay. So Chameleon is moving. What's my highest initiative this round? Cannot see because nothing is happening. Also, Elapolis is just moving and not shooting because he is pushed. We are in his minimum range, so he doesn't know really what to do. That's great for us. And we're also in there with a the flyer. So, talking about crowd control. Is he running away now? I don't know about that. Hmm. Very suspicious. Yeah, I'll do it like this. Means we can use the Uziel to get another back shot out. Might kill even. Ooh, I'm happy that I didn't go all in. Oh boy! So, big stack pole on that end. Yes, that's some damage that we just have to accept. Um, by the way, wait wait a second. Give me, give me one moment. I think there's something in the settings that doesn't work. Speed up timeline, speed up combat. No, 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 no. I don't want that. Show UI during attacks. That's the thing I want. Okay. So I can now right-click my enemies even if... We are in the process of an attack animation and see what their what their status is. I want to get the 10. Give me my 10 evasion. No. Still a 
probably a good idea to take the Thunderbolt down. Or try at the very least. And we can also go Vigilant. So we have a little bit of damage reduction at the very least. Okay, got him narked, right? Okay. So, next target. Oh no. Gotta stay in motion. Uh, the next target is the Wolverine, obviously. We'll take the side torso out. There might be something exploding, I don't know. Okay. He's standing up again. Show me what you got. Nothing. Still, again, two howitzers. Love that. And our last activation here. Uh, and I still probably... Ooh, that's a lot of exposure on the Waka. Mm, I'll take it anyway. And I still want to probably take the Wolvie down. And you can really see here what difference it makes when shooting missiles at a narc target, right? It's very low on leg armor. That might be a thing. But we need to take this out. Didn't take him, but we got the auto cannon. Well, let's try again. What's my hit chance here? 71%. Still, I want to take a target at a time. He's panicked, but not down. Crazy. 14 health on the center torso. Crazy. Yeah, I'm pretty happy that I got Vigilance here. Oh god. That damage would have been more devastating than that. Our leg was quite... hit quite hard. Uh, anyway... Mr. Spectre... What are we doing with you? Hmm... Nah. Yeah, we'll do it like that. We're gonna orient ourselves to the main target and I'm gonna shoot the Thunderbolt again. Still not open. Okay. That's a kill. Hell yeah. I, I think... Everything considered, like the heavy mechs on the battlefield early on, we have it very, very well under control. The Wolfhound. Oh, he dropped his heavy PPC completely. That's so good for us. Panther, let's go. Or maybe not. They're just standing still at this point. Love it. Clint, also doing nothing. Yeah, it's really beneficial for us. So we're gonna push. Machine gun array and a machine gun. There's a chance we kill this in one go. But I think we want to hit the leg of this Thunderbolt a bit more. That's gonna be my main target right now. Okay. Sprint in. With the waifu man. And we got the T-Bolt. Ammo explosion of the machine gun ammo, by the way. So, that left arm opening was actually quite good. Mortar. Another double hit. That's ma It's 10 damage over time. Again and again and again. And then the little splash coming from the... Yeah, from the splash damage. Um... Sure. Take out this. Just because I want to. I am not against machine gun arrays, by the way. Especially when thinking about the Phoenix Arc. It could definitely need some help. Okay, and now we're on the hunt. Gonna get that Uziel in there. Oh, he's stealth. Ah. We have a lot of ammo. Let's heat him up. Maybe with that we can ignite the forest around him. So he's gonna get some heat problems over time. And... Um, you know, just doesn't move that far because he's hot. Our medium X probably want to deal with what's... I wanted to say it's what's on the left side, on the right side here. Let's see. 22%. 39, I'll take that. Good. My game plan right now probably should revolve around the Wolfhound. Taking this guy out as our main target and then deal with what is left on the battlefield. Or maybe not. Man, Spectre is accurate. But he has heat problems. So if we can fire a little bit more with our Uziel, he's gonna be silent for a turn or two. And that's exactly what we need. Okay. So here is Kaspar. 
Back strikes are always fun, so let's do it. I'm not really sold on the Narc, honestly. I'm usually back striking with my, uh, with my, what's it called? Phoenix, with my lamb, my land air mech. And I want to follow up with damage from the back and not from the front with more missiles that are coming from another source, right? So a more direct damaging weapon would be advice. But the Narc is basically free right now. It doesn't really cost us anything to have. But still, it's a bit annoying. Anyway, again, good hit chance here. We'll take that. Yep. The large laser coming in as well. The double large laser, even. 25 damage. Sure. I think at some point he's gonna... Oh, he's about to drop, by the way. That's one health on the side torso, and I think that's an XL engine in there. Totally is, yeah. Alright, so we basically have that guy in the back. Let's, uh... Ugh, keep jumping? I don't know. I think we could afford it. Yeah. I know that we are at the brink of being unsteady, but there is very little threatening us. Mm, full miss. Not even the forest on fire around him. Okay, here's the urban mech. Splash is real. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I really want to get out of this mission, by the way, at this point. Just finishing it. So that I can play another one. I really want to get some, some stuff done today. Maybe we actually get a double mission today. And by the way, if you have made it so far and you haven't done it already, you could leave a like or subscribe to the channel if you want more. That would be very nice of you. Back shot. That's a big hit. We need more defensive systems on this guy as well. Certainly needs... Wait a second. We have a sheath beacon, right? We have a sheath beacon already. Hmm. But it's not even that bad. 14, 16. I believe our lamb can take him. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll go over here. Let's build a front against these guys. And we're gonna try to take the first urban mech. But you scramble, buddy. And by the way, sensor scrambling against stealth is also a pretty good idea. Take away their benefits. Okay. Panther. No. Okay. Damage is a little... Yeah, we're gonna have a little bit of repair cost after that. I don't think that we can play another mission in this month's cycle. But it's okay. There are probably some more assassinations where we are going. So again, want to get the Wolfhound down now. Oh, narking this guy would also be a great idea. So, main target down. Technically, we could run away now. Would be a nice thing to do, honestly. What about a backwards fight? Just evac. Here's the thing. I don't really want to clutter the loot table with garbage tier urban mech salvage. I want to have the high tier salvage. A dense amount of heavy mech parts, you know? I think that's a great idea, actually. Okay, how do we do this now? We need to get into the zone. We are rather slow with the rifleman. Compared to our other mechs, you know? The, the rifleman is actually quite fast for a rifleman, but still. We need to get away from this. It's not jump capable. It can only move a little bit. Slow down by rough terrain. By the way, I said it earlier. Yeah, I need to enable all of this here. Big time. We cannot ping with our easy. No, only with a probe, obviously. Okay. So, we want to try to hit him anyway. That guy is nasty. He's hitting us all the time, and I cannot let that stand. It's an Irby with an MRM, correct? Yeah, an MRM 30. Okay, 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 okay. I'll push him. We're gonna try to fire him up. That's good. Okay, here's our cloud booster. Slow and steady, by the way. We don't need to sprint into the evac zone and have one guy sitting here. Might as well. Ooh, might as well get a straight shot on the Uziel. Look at this red line going straight through him. 
that's not a good shot to take. I'll not risk it. Yeah, man, Rifleman needs to get away from this. I said it earlier and I say again, target diversity for your enemies is key. If you only have one mech that can be shot, this guy will be shot multiple times. So let's get him out there. It's better usually to split the damage over all of your armor plates. Okay, sensors impaired. Should make it easier for us to hit him now. Okay. He's on. He, I, I believe he hit every single shot so far. What a master. However, there's something we can do. I said it earlier. Let's try to narc him. If so, we should have a perfect hit chance. Or we ping him. Oh. Actually, that's the more reliable thing to do. Take away your stealth fall turn. Uh, I think he was evasion change immune. But that's okay. We now have a way to deal with you, buddy. Oh yeah. Alright. That's bloody retaliation. Revenge, let's go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, technically. Okay, we got a headshot. Is he gonna punch out? No, but he's also unsteady, so he's basically food for our Uziel. So this time we're gonna shoot standard stuff, and I wanna punch him! I mean, we have a pretty good chance to... Kicking him gives us a better chance than punching? Why is that? Is that like an innate better, innately better hit chance? Because we just put some arm actuators in our mech, didn't we? Lower melee punch. I guess I'll kick him then. It's a miss. Oh god. Come on, take him down anyway, please. It would be nice. See a lot of big numbers. Got him. So, down he goes. Yeah, I'm gonna eat that damage. The problem is that we are showing our back against the Mortar guy and we are currently unsteady. That's a, that's a big drawback. So now I want to really focus on getting away from here, but I have to wait for my slowest link in the chain, which is my Rifleman. So we've got to get that thing to cover. Mm -hmm. Soon. Don't destroy my arm! I need that thing. That's my double PPC, that's where my upper recoil sits. Oh, no. Passes way is around the uh, rocket to the left, huh? Let's do it. Okay, 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 okay. So, it's all about presentation, right? <laughs> Do we want to present our Phoenix? We might want to go over here. Only showing ourselves to one of them at the moment. We probably want to hit this guy as well. So, he has an injury now. That's fine. Okay. Again, blocking line of sight, presenting other targets. Wait a second. I also need to think about where I want to end up, huh? This might be fine. Shoot up! My idea is not to destroy them, but maybe to cripple them. If we can get a knockdown or a weapon system destroyed, it would be fantastic. Uh, yeah, you just evac. It's fine. Okay. KRS. Great. Again, that's super good diversion. Full miss. Love to see that. Great. And I want another bomb, actually, on my on my flyer. Um, just gonna go over here. Raise it up. Missiles against... Oh, the Mortar against the Rifleman. I really hope that we can get out of here with our PPCs intact. Again, facing the enemies in a reasonable way would prevent that probably, but I just want to get out of here as well. Just here for the salvage, guys. Okay. Yeah. I'll probably engage anyway with like one or two mechs still. Right? Nah. So the Waka is gonna go. That's for sure. The question is, what's, go what's he gonna do? You know. 
Uh, sorry, Kaspar Ramares. Scooting around. So the Clint already took a lot of damage on his left leg. I'm gonna try to follow up on that. Uh, also, Vigilance, because we got it. That's the arm, which is okay, I guess. Still more damage. Oh god, my rifleman suffers. And this is where we are susceptible to critical damage now. I'm not a fan. But hey, we know we probably need one round to get out of here. Bad twist, by the way. I should have done it in a different way. Um, there's nothing we can do. So we are we are preparing for the evac. Done. Good. You here. Done. Good. Beautiful. That means we really need to get our Phoenix into the zone next round. Oh boy. Wonder if we can get there. I mean, we have a lot of jump capacity thanks to our jump booster. But is it gonna be enough? Great. All these missed shots. Love it. Here's Irby with the MRMs. Yeah. Again, this is what I mean. This is... You just hit a bunch of those missiles. You don't have to hit all of them unless... Or... Yeah, as long as you can... I hate it. That's so close, but still so far. Uh, as long as you can deal a little bit of damage over time. Ooh, got you knocked. Ah, uh, we needed one turn anyway. That's alright. So, I guess we're gonna shoot something. 22% on the Clint. Also, only 24 on the... on the Urban Mech. Okay, I'll hit the Clint. More damage. It could always be something like a headshot. Brace. Okay, give me Wizard, please. I need him. Don't hit me again. Yeah, that's right. They're changing targets now to a very tasty double attack. Good. I'll do it like this. Done. So, we are actually set up for an evac next round. Venom, uh, sure. Actually, go here. And brace up. Finally, the Karis is in the fight. Perfect. That means they might be able to shoot somebody else now instead of my guys. Yes, perfect. And he even has an AMS Mark II to protect him. Perfect. Flint. Blurp. Laser beams. Good. So, I believe we have it in the bag. We are not getting our payment bonus of 20%. I know. But it's gonna be worth it for the salvage reasons. Just wanna say hello again. Well, let's say goodbye. And we got the large laser down. You know, that's good. This is what I was kind of hoping for for a long time. Uh, you're fine. That guy is unleashing hell on them. Beautiful. Urban Mac. The mortars dropping. Yay, now they, now they pack the acid. Uh-huh. Alright, I'll take you. Pikachu? No, I cannot. I... I gotta wait to turn 12 before I can evac. Good. So, we're out of here. Whoop. Samira, pick us up. There we go. So, that was a successful mission, I would say. That was good. It was the, the last part of this mission was not really, I don't know, was it interesting for you? Like the retreat, trying to not take that much damage and, you know, keeping our salvage intact. But I think it's gonna pay off big time because we got a bunch of parts of... Hmm, I don't know. All of these guys exploded big time. There might be only one pick each. But hey, let's check it out. I actually go over here for that. We have a bunch of heavy tracked APC parts, the Spectre, the Wolfhound... You gotta be kidding me. What? Where are the heavy mechs? Oh, probably in the bottom, maybe? The ordering is a bit jumbled up lately. Let's check it out. Large laser trunnel is not good even. I could take an LRM-15 for the Archer build that's about to come. I like that idea. That's an advanced zoom. It's not advanced optics, but it's still worth it. 
Endosteel, Advanced Targeting Computer. It's not bad. That's another Guardian. That's another Double Heat Sink. We got a Rangefinder. I like that. Primitive Sensors is bad. Okay, there we go. I was a bit worried for a second. So, this is our big stuff. I'll take the Helipolis part. I'll take the Archer part. I'll take the Thunderbolt. I'll take a Supercharger, even. The Wolverine is not that interesting. What's, what's that? We can look at components now! What? This is so big! Oh my god! Oh my god, this is, we can now actually check if we have that item already, or if we have similar items, or if we need it, or if we want it, or whatever. That is so good! Now that we can compare our storage with the loot. I love that! So good. Big thumbs up. That is so needed. Alright, so I'm gonna take the mech parts, obviously. So question is, do we take more electronics like a rangefinder or the zoom? Maybe a Guardian ECM, which is always fine. Or do we take the LRM-15? What is our LRM situation right now? We got two 20s, actually. Hmm. This is a, this is a start of a build. I think what I need more is a Guardian. Let's take that. Alrighty. So, that's it. We're gonna take... Archer, Helepolis, Spectre, Spectre, Thunderbolt, Wolfhound, Wolverine. We get a 15, we get a 20. We get a Machine Gun Array. Okay. That's juicy. We got two SRM6s, an Engine Core 100 that we instantly sell, some standard fire control systems. We even get the Mask and the Rangefinder. Pretty good. Basic sensors for the win. Sure. <laughs> Single heatsink cooling. And we get Tracer ammo for the Machine Guns. Plus one accuracy, no downside. I love it. Actually, the downside is probably... Oh, wait. There's no downside, right? No, I don't think it is. That's pretty good. So, I say... We're gonna build an archer now. Oh, I'm super excited. <laughs> That's gonna be interesting. Um, and I wonder if the archer that we have most of the parts of, like four, is that the same variant here? Because the archer that we've just found is not the best. It's a rather low tier one, doesn't have the most hard points in the world. So we probably just want to slap two LRM-20s and probably two medium lasers on it or so. We'll see about it. So, yeah. <laughs> we got lucky. We got really lucky. Man, I called it. Wanted to get the Archer. And here we go. We got the Archer. So, let's check this out. <laughs> we got 16 days of repair time. 72,000 C bills. But I don't care. Because we got a goodie. We have the Archer 6S mostly. Four missile hardpoints, four energy hardpoints. Yes, please, give me that. And please be in good condition. Confirm that. Oh boy. We have a good chunk of technicians in our squad, so our tech points is actually good. 21. There's a chance that we have it in decent condition. Oh, it looks bad. But hey, let's check. Actually... I'm not gonna say no to that. Most importantly, we have Artemis attachments here. And we have the light engine already. I could totally run with the light engine. We have a double heat sink kit. We have an engine core, two, core 280. That's super interesting. I love that. So what we could do now is the following. Give me one moment. So five. We, we need five hundred thousand to build it. Oh, that's hmm. Ha. Huh, hmm. What's our timing right now? Give me a moment. Five days. We will not recover within five days. No, not even close. So we need to play some more missions before we can even start and think about the repairs. Or. We drop the Phoenix Hawk. Now that we got a machine gun array, I actually want to keep it around a bit longer. But who cares about that, huh? Phoenix Hawk is a good skirmisher who can jump around quite a lot and just gets to close range uh, positions and we have three ballistic hard points, you know. We can actually uh, maybe drop the medium expulses. Uh, okay, I'm going to show you what I mean. And then we're going to make a decision if you want to keep that thing. Machine gun array, I don't know, could go here. We're going to take... Probably just a bin of tracer ammo. Don't think we need double bins here, right? Uh, 
No, I think this is fine. We got 800 shots. So that's already pretty good. And then we're gonna add some energy weapons on top of that, which would be... Ooh. Maybe it's small, two smalls and one X pulse. Maybe a half ton, just to make sure. Something along those lines. So this would be a nice shredder now. Problem is... Ah yes, we have a recoil problem of each shot above three. We can go up to six shots per. Ah, suboptimal. We need recoil reduction. So we need somebody with focus fire and then some other like recoil reduction fire control system. Ballistic improved. Wait a second, we have that. We also have a 20% reduced jam chance multiplier. So that would be totally fine for those machine guns. Because they also tend to jam, right? Uh, does it say weapon has a recoil of 1 and a jam chance of 10% per shot above 3? So yes! We can make it a shredder. I kind of want to check this out. To make the mech even better, we would probably upgrade the engine as well. So uh, that would allow us to keep the medium expulses and put even more stuff into the mech, as you can see. The XL makes a big difference here. But yeah, I, I would love to have more machine gun arrays. And then the medium pulse to open the enemies up and then brrr, shoot the little bullets into their vulnerable components. <sighs> I'm gonna keep it around. I'm gonna probably regret it, but hey, here we are. What we can do is the following. We can quickly go to the store and check that out. We checked this already, right? Could lay mimes. My, my, we could lay mimes. Oh god. <laughs> we are not laying mimes. Um, no, we have some things that we can probably drop. I'm specifically thinking about, like, light rifle can definitely go. Uh, some LRMs, maybe. Sell one of the 20s. Uh, we have a bunch of medium lasers. I'm not a fan of the Magna, they are too hot. Mine dispenser, I'm not gonna ever use that thing. We got a bunch of PPCs, small lasers and stuff like that. SRM2s are also pretty garbage. I'll sell them. The pirate one as well. And I'm not sure about the streak at all. I feel like it's heavy. I, I need to think about it. Um, so what I, what I want, what I want is, I want to go to engine cores. We have a bunch of 200 rated engine cores. Probably not ever using them. So I'll drop that thing. 1XL will probably find its way into one mech at some point. And the Pharaoh will be sold as well, one part of it. Lots of single heat sinks. Just want to keep some around. One double heat sink kit is good, lamp composite is good. I'm not really a fan of mask early on, doesn't help us so much. So we have some money. We just needed to liquidate it. How do you say? Li liquidify, right? That's the word. <laughs> Let's go. So. Now, we not only have enough money, probably, to get the Archer online, but we should have enough money to get over the financial report as well. What was that again? Ah, it's close. Yes, I'll repair it. Confirm. Man, we have an Archer. We will have an Archer. Alrighty then. So what we're gonna drop is the following. I'll drop a Raptor. These are usually worth a bit. Candy Roo can go. Um, the hunter can go. It's 30,000 at a time. Jenner, definitely gonna... Yeah. Uh, Nighthawk, please be gone. Panthers can go. The sprites? Oh, Spectre, actually. Almost got it, guys. Almost got it. The Wolfhound is, is a good one, but I'll drop it anyway. Copperhead, what are you running again? Heavy rifle rocket? Nah. Primitive crap. Main gauge? Light gauss is good. Crosscut is interesting. Also cheap. Um, another sling. <laughs> We're almost there, guys. Tarant ah, Tarantula is a quad. I'm gonna keep that. Chandra has to go. And I'd say the Hornet as well. Okay, guys. We're now in the green here. We made it. We have our money settled. We have our Archer in the making. We also have a third mech bay in the making. Big progress today, guys. It was great. I was having a lot of fun. If you had fun as well, don't forget to subscribe, leave a rating, and, I don't know, leave a comment as well for the algorithm. Helps me out a ton. Hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.